Hello friends, this video on atom and molecules part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's take some simple compounds. We'll use the formulas which we, uh, rules we just told you three rules. First one is the charge is balanced and the metal is written first in case of polyatomic ion, this includes the presses. Okay, let's first write some chemical formula for simple compounds. See, simple compounds can be made of two or different elements. They are called binary compounds, actually. Okay. For example, NaCl, HCl. Okay. H2O, H2S. These are all simple compound CCL4 MgCl2 calcium oxide Al2O3 all these are simple compounds you see here they are made of only two atoms NaCl HCl HO HS CCl MgCl CaO ALO. Okay, let's write the formula for this NaCl plus charge minus charge 1 1. So it becomes NaCl. Pretty easy. So in this case, if you see the first rule, the charge is balanced, yes. Metal is written first, yes. And this is not polyatomic, so we'll not go for third rule for all these. We'll go for only first two rules. And for this set, let's write for HCl. Plus one, minus one, in charge balance, you get H2O, plus one, minus two, you get two here, you get one here, you get H2O, similarly H2S, plus one, minus two, what you get is H2S, CCL4, CCL, minus one, plus one, right? Sorry, carbon is 4. So it becomes 1, this becomes 4. So what you get is CCL4. Let's try for others. Mg, Cl, magnesium charge is 2, chlorine charge is 1. You get 1 here, you get 2 here, you get Mg, Cl2. Calcium oxide, calcium charge is plus 2. This is minus 2. This is 2, this is 2. This becomes Ca2O2. 2, 2 we can actually take uh, cancel. It becomes CaO. Al2O3 this is aluminium, this is oxygen. Aluminium plus 3 charge, oxygen minus 2 charge. This becomes 2, this becomes 3. You get Al2O3. So that's how you write simple compounds. Okay. Pretty easy. You can just try it. It's very easy actually. Let's take some more uh, questions now. Formula of carbon tetrachloride we just saw it was CCL4, just now we have seen that. So there's a carbon with plus 4 charge, with the minus 4 charge, minus 1 charge. So this goes like this, this one, which becomes CCL4. M magnesium chloride also we saw, magnesium plus 2 charge, Cl minus 1 charge. Swap it, this becomes MgCl. Aluminium oxide also we have seen. ALO plus 3 plus 2 becomes 3 becomes 2 it becomes Al2 sodium nitrate sodium plus 1 charge nitrate minus 1 charge this becomes Na NO3 with the braces 1 here but since it is just 1 you can actually remove the braces Calcium hydroxide, calcium OH minus 1 plus 2. This becomes 1, this becomes 2. This is calcium OH is a polyatomic ion, COH2. Similarly, sodium carbonate, sodium carbonate, Na. CO3, 
and maybe the plus charge, CO3 is a minus 2 charge, this becomes 1, this becomes 2, this becomes Na2, CO3, the braces. Since it is 1 here, you can remove the braces. Okay, then ammonium sulfate, NH4, NS4, this is minus 2, this is plus 1, this becomes 2, this becomes 1, this becomes NH4, 2, SO4, since SO4 is 1 here, you can remove the braces for, from SO4, but you cannot remove it from NH4. Please remove, note that this has to be in the braces, for example, COOH2, it has to be like this, you can't write COOH2, this is wrong, this is right, the, you, have, you should have this bracket, right, in this case if you see, both are multi n ammonia is multi n sulfur so of course is multi n both ammonia and sulfate are multi ions but for sulfate since it is one we didn't write the braces we actually remove it all but for ammonia since it has it is more than one the bracket is required here also oh bracket is must okay we can also take uh, aluminium sulfate one example, let's write here. Aluminium sulfate. So aluminium is plus 3, sulfate is minus 2. This becomes Al2SO4. Please note this is bracket here. So you are following all the rules. First rule the charge is balanced. This is the charge is balanced with this convention. The metals are written first. Yes, the metals are written first in all the case. We are writing metal first. Right. Also, if you see the name also, first you'll have metal. And the third rule for a polyatomic, yes, in case we have polyatomic ion, we are making sure it is in the bracket if it is more than one. Okay. Let's take some more numericals to clarify our concepts. We have to write down the formula of sodium oxide, aluminium chloride, sodium sulfide, magnesium hydroxide. Let's write for sodium oxide, sodium and oxygen. Sodium is metal, oxygen is non-metal, sodium is written first. Let's do the valency balance. Sodium is plus 1, oxygen is minus 2. So this becomes 2, this becomes 1. This is Na2O. That is the formula. Let's do for aluminium chloride. Aluminium is metal, chlorine is non-metal, aluminium is written first, chlorine is written second. Aluminium has a charge of plus 3, chlorine has a charge of minus 1. Let's do a balance. This becomes 1, this becomes 3. You get AlCl3. Then we have sodium sulfide. We have sodium, we have sulfur, sodium with a plus 1 charge. Sulfur with the minus 2, sodium is metal, written first, sodium sulfur is non-metal, written next. Let's do the charge balance. Get Na2S. Magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium is metal. Hydroxide OH. Let's put the braces here only. Charge balance plus 2, minus 1. So what you get is Mg OH. Pretty easy. Let's take some more examples. Let's uh, write down the names of these compounds. Al2SO43, we just wrote the chemical formula for this. And this is Al is aluminium. And SO4 is sulfate. So you can just write aluminium sulfate. All these numbers you need not worry about. These are all taken care by valency. Ca is calcium and Cl2 is chloride. Right? You do not worry about these numbers. Right? K is what? Potassium. And why we are not worried about these numbers? Because these numbers have been taken care by valency. And SO4 is again sulfate. Here again, NO3 is again a polyatomic ion. K is potassium again. 
and NO3 is nitrate. So it is potassium nitrate. CaCO3, again CO3 is again a polyatomic ion. C is calcium and this is carbonate. So the only challenge here is to understand which is polyatomic ion in case it is one and the basis is removed. That is the only tough scenario. Else if the basis is there, you can actually know this is aluminum, this is sulphate, this is calcium, this is chlorine, this is potassium, this is sulphate. But in these last two cases, nitrate and carbonate, right, that thing was not given. Okay, the charge, I mean the bracket was not there, so it was a little difficult to understand. This is with experience, with practice that NO3 is again a polyatomic ion and CO3 is also a polyatomic ion. Don't write the name as calcium carbon oxygen. Okay, you have to understand that CO3 is a polyatomic ion. Some of the polyatomic ion is CO3, 2 minus NO3, 1 minus SO4, 2 minus OH, 1 minus anything else I could think of. Yeah, mostly you will see these kind of polyatomic ions. Okay. What is meant by chemical formula? See, chemical formula we just told is a symbolic representation of its composition. Symbolic representation of composition. Right? For example, water is H2O, sulfuric acid is H2SO4, methane is CH4. So it will tell you what is the actual composition. Right? It shows the constituent elements and the number of atoms also. Right? Numbers of atom of each combining element. For example, here two hydrogen atom, one oxygen atom. Right? Calcium carbonate, one calcium, one carbon, three oxygen. Al2, SO4, three. Two aluminium and three sulfate. HCl, one hydrogen, one chlorine. So chemical formula actually is a symbolic representation of its composition. So these four words are pretty important. Symbolic representation of composition of a given molecule. How many atoms are present in H2S molecules and PO4,3 ion? See H2S, sulfur has two hands in this case and two hydrogen atoms are bonded. So if you see here, there are one, two, three atoms. So three atoms in H2S molecule. Please note this is H2S is a molecule, hydrogen, sulfur, hydrogen, these are atoms. PO4, 3 minus. So if you see here, I'm not sure about the bond, so since you don't know about double bond, single bond, so I've not presented that. Just see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 atoms in phosphorus. So it will be 5 atoms in PO4, 3 minus ion. Note that this is ion. PO4, 3 minus whole thing is ion. Okay. This is also a polyatomic ion. Example is S3PO4. Okay. I think in this case, one is double bond. I'm not very sure on this. Yeah, but I think one is double bond. Others are all single bond. Yeah, because phosphorus has typically five hands. Five valency. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.